this video I would like to introduce the new build direction analysis tool in Creo. This analysis displays downward looking surfaces that need to be supported during the 3D build process according to several rules. You have a 3D dragger to change out the dynamically the orientation of the part in relation to the selected datum plane. Critical angles will be measured relative to the normal to the selected datum plane. We have also subcritical angles that are those uh, uh, patches that are not likely to be supported, but in many cases will suffer from poor surface finish, so that's why it's important. Also, you can select a reference to define the build direction. For instance, if you select a planar surface or that plane, the normal to that plane will be the build direction. About the uh, compute optimal orientation, in this release, you can optimize to minimize the downskin area, minimize the shadow area, and position the part to its minimum height. This will open the optimization dialog, and a graph is showing the optimization cycles until it's finished. When everything is complete, you will see a message saying that the optimization was successful. At this point, you can close the optimization dialog to see the result of such optimization on the screen. You will also notice that after the computation is finished, the Euler angles in the orientation axis are also populated. Once the build direction is finished, the, uh, you can proceed to create lattices, create support structures and so on, and we will show you. Now, let's see what is the implication of having a build direction defined in part mode when you create a tray assembly for 3D printing preparation. You will notice a new option in the arrange and tray command called build direction. But let's first select a printer to show the effect of this new option. You can notice that the orientation of the part is now in accordance with the optimum position calculated in the build direction optimization. Let's now copy the default parameter profile for the selected printer, change the name, set it as active, and as an additional task, we will set the critical angle used in the optimization as the same in the self-supporting angle parameter to be used to calculate support structures in the tray assembly. The next step in the process, after defining the, the support structures that we are seeing on the screen, is to send this tray to the corresponding build processor. As a reminder, when you use the Creo Additive Manufacturing Plus license is when you can optimize the part positioning in part mode and to be able to generate support structures using materialized technology. You need the Creo Additive Manufacturing Plus license. Also, please notice that the build processor itself is not part of the Creo Additive Manufacturing Plus license. You should acquire it directly from materialized. As a last step in this demo, let's, let's uh, use uh, the materialized visualization uh, tool, the build processor uh, visualization tool, to take a look at the slices that will be used by the printer to produce the part. In this video, we show the complete process from defining the optimum part orientation. Use such orientation in the tray assembly generate support structures, and send a print job to the build processor. Thank you.